I'm gonna purchase some cheap land today and try to flip it into a free public zoo. Last week, my free golf course made a ton of money. So can I make even more this week? It's gonna be the most expensive and riskiest business yet. So will I make millions or lose everything? Guys, we might have a base right here. They're trying to sell it for 10. I said seven. It'd be a really good price. She said 8,500 is a deal. All right, so I just bought it for $8,500. That's pretty decent because we're gonna make a zoo. And this to me has a really, really good zoo feel to it. You can see that becoming a zoo very quickly. This is literally the perfect random base to find. This will be the entrance where people come through. It'll be totally free, but I'm gonna actually blow out this entire back wall also. Is anything in this chest? Dang it. First things first, if you want a zoo, I don't know, usually they have like a giant arch. So we're gonna redo the entire front entrance of this. I feel like I'm one of those like super scummy house flippers in real life because I'm like, I'm leaving the wood under the carpet because no one's going to notice. I'm using slabs because it saves some money. But you know what? It's just what everyone does at the end of the day. I'm out of slabs. Dang, 500,000. We are, we are getting there. All right, guys, this is what the brand new entrance looks like right here. So I think it looks a little bit better. You've got like a nice little cobblestone pathway. We could even add like gravel and like, you know, regular stone to like kind of give it a little more fresh detail. Use this one trick to double the value of your property instantly. Just do like a little bit of like slightly different blocks here and there like this and literally boom, property value just doubled. Glass in the front window still has to go and then we'll pretty much be done with the main base overhaul. All right, this either looks super cool or dumb. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I like that. That's a good looking zoo right there. Is it really free if I encourage them to donate to me? Because like, I don't know at that point. You're getting into some weird territory. We need to light this place up though. A little bit too dark for my taste. All right, we'll come back to what these are later on in the video, but this is a very, very different idea than what I had last time. They should hopefully net us even more profit, but we'll just leave them there for now. I think it looks okay. All right, time to officially get started on the zoo build. We'll add some more details throughout. Like this could become like a little bit of a seating area. There's a lot of like random, like, you know, ideas like that we could do to make it look better. This is where the zoo officially begins. This is where our work really starts. Um, let's get this place lit up. Okay, so what we're gonna do is do path blocks. So let's get just a basic path line. So I just worked through the entire night to uh, kind of line out what I want the zoo to look like. And this is kind of what it looks like here. So I've got the first cage. You walk over a bridge right here. You've got the second cage, third cage, and then a little mini game. I'm gonna try to make some money on people that like come through. I don't know what yet. And then we got a couple more cages, some campfires, and then just kind of ways to get money. So it's like a nice little quaint, tiny zoo. And I think it's gonna have a really good feel to it. So what we need to do now is make uh, probably a lot of uh, fences, a lot of fence posts and stuff like that. So I want them to like bang, like boom, there it is the first cage right away when you walk in. So we'll make it like an organic shape. And I kind of like that there's like this natural pit already there. We we can just use that as our cage shape. Okay, bad news is we're already out of, uh, we're already about out, out of cages. So that was, that was a lot. All right, well, we've got a couple more. Let's see what it does for us. Guys, this feels like I'm playing Zoo Tycoon right now. Like I'm starting with nothing, going through, slowly getting this bad boy upgraded and it's really coming together already. I mean, look at this. This looks great. I don't know what this cage will be yet, but it's important to label it so people know. I think we'll start with a bang. I like, will just say, yo, exhibit one is the freaking mushroom. And uh, maybe we could put like some fun facts here because if we give them like more info, maybe they'll be more likely to donate. Like uh, they do need like, like mycelium. Is that expensive? I'm at the shop right now trying to find things a mushroom would have, but I don't even know if we have mushrooms for sale, do we? Okay, there's a few. 100 each. They're a little expensive. I'm pretty sure, uh, first off, let's replace this with mycelium so it looks a little better. All right, I'm pretty sure that if I plant these and then use bone meal on them, they should grow into like a big... <laughs> Oh, that's huge. <laughs> I didn't know it go that big. All right, well, that's uh, that's a, not exactly what we wanted, but actually we could utilize this in a way that maybe makes him like a little bit of a home here. It's like a naturally occurring mushroom home that he can walk into and live in. I wish I had more mycelium, but I've run out. So there's our first fact. It says, did you know mushrooms have more drops than any other mob? I didn't know that, but apparently there's more items they can drop than anything. Finally, guys, we got to put a mushroom in and our first cage is pretty much ready to go. And honestly, I think it came out pretty well. So mushroom, get in the cage, live your life. I got you for free from someone else. That's a $9,000 animal, but this time we didn't have to spend any money. He's even going to the home. Get in there. Get in your home, buddy, please. Wow. That is actually epic. Oh, that turned out so well. It would be even cooler if to, to like break the side right here and put like a little window. Brilliant, guys. What the heck? I'm gonna name a Moomy. Now let's make our bridge right here. I had the idea. I don't know why it makes some kind of a walkway bridge and it just seemed like the right idea. So that's what we're gonna do. This actually would look cool if I put like some water down there and some fish and you like walk over it. This is a fun build, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like if, if this is great. If it doesn't make me money, uh, I might not even be upset because it's so fun to make. All right, let's get on cage number two right now. This is the second cage. We'll do like a little bit of a, a simple one. I guess I just figure out what I'm gonna actually put in it to make it engaging and interesting. This is where I can buy animals to put in it. So I want something kind of unique. No pigs. Oh, turtles. 35,000 for turtle. Yo, a panda. A panda is $20,000, but I'm going to get one anyway, because I feel like a panda cage would just be sick. You know what I mean? So I guess it is going to be another big one, but I like the contrast. Panda to mushroom just feels natural to me. It's the next step, logically. You know, with all the potion brewing I've been doing in this series, one thing I need to start making is some night vision potions, because I'll make these builds a heck of a lot easier when I can actually see what I'm doing. You know, that'd be a great bonus. So I just restocked on the... <laughs> 
I just restocked on my spruce wood, coming back with a lot of money here. That has been spent. Uh, I don't know how much we're in the hole right now, but like I said, if it's a good enough zoo, I feel like the people will come. I always knew this bamboo I've been collecting would come in handy one day, guys. I always knew. I'm thinking like just a little bit of a bamboo section right here. Oh, good. I can instant grow it, make it look a little better, quicker. And then I also invested a little bit of money to try to make a super jungle tree. See if that works. All right, well, it's not going to grow, so let's try to make one jungle tree. I'll take it. So I gave the panda cage like a little bit more grass, a little bit more jungle. Now this tree right here is kind of in the way of the viewing. So I don't know, maybe we'll like cut out like a little part of the tree so you can see through. And uh, I don't think it can get out. So I mean, it's time to plop our big boy down in here and <laughs> pray, pray that he does not die. Did you know the panda is the slowest land mob in Minecraft? I didn't know that either. All right, so we've got this looking good. I want to actually make uh, another zone here at the beginning of our base. By the way, just take a moment to appreciate how far we've come from a base to literal two zoo exhibits right now in the back that actually look kind of fire. Um, I want to have like a welcome area right here. I'm not sure the best way to do it, but I'd like to give away something for free to these people. Give them a free crafting table. Grab a free craft while you're here type thing. Now, if you have been following this series, by the way, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe because this series is fire. I have been brewing potions like a maniac and I now have an entire chest full of potion of swiftness. So theoretically, this is something people would want. So if I go back, I feel like if I make it so that when they walk through, there's a potion our chest that's just full of these potions for them to buy, we could be in a situation we're able to sell out of potions early on for players that want a little extra speed. I don't think it's a bad idea. Or I'll do about 2,000 each. All right, guys, check it out. So as you walk in, now you're faced with this and you can open up the shop and you can see all my potions. They go from two to $20,000. I just randomly kind of priced them, to be honest with you, because it took a long time. Matter of fact, let's drink one now. And the third cage will be here. We're just gonna make a little bit of a tiny cage right here. This will be a nice, simple, uh, just a basic, basic animal cage. Nothing too crazy, I don't think. This is a very unique cage coming in here. A very small top zone, but as you walk down, it actually spirals down and then goes underground here. So it's a very, very large cage. I don't know if I want to do an exotic animal here because if I go back to my base in my chest room by warping home and open up my food chest in the back corner, I'm pretty sure that I've kind of got stockpiles and stockpiles of eggs here. So what better use for eggs than to try to hatch a whole batch of them inside of this cage and make a nice little exciting chicken farm right here. I don't know if it's the most entertaining animal. There's one. Hopefully these things can't fly out of the cage. I'm thinking of that now. Oh, yeah. Really? I got quadruplets on the one that didn't go in? Are you kidding me? Of all the things that could have happened, that is literally so unlucky. I gotta get inside. Quadruplets on that? Are you kidding? All right, then for these guys, it should be a pretty simple cage. Just load them up with as much grass as possible. I guess those are just the ones that got away. Those are the ones we'll never get back. Moving in for cage number four. For this one, we're going for a very interesting design here because I just want to put two snowmen in a cage and call it a day that... <laughs> and call it a day there. I'm gonna get a couple more details added into the cage, but that's what it looks like. And then back here, I've added a donation station. So players will be able to come and help support their local zoo. The idea here is to collect items. And then we're gonna hit them with another one right around here so that if they like what we did at the very end, they'll be able to donate even more. See, this is where you're gonna win them, guys. This right here is the moment. This is the moment where they become your true fans. You put in work to make a nice little fireplace zone. They fall in love, it's over. We added a bunch of details outside. We got torches everywhere, a little campfire right there. It's, it's coming together. I think there's still more to be done. But on the inside, I was going to turn all of these into chest shops, right? Put them on top of the counter, sell some items in the chest shop. But now that I'm thinking about it, this is where people are going to spawn. I feel like it's more likely that I sell items while they're actually out here enjoying stuff. Like for example, here's the panda exhibit. So what if right next to the panda exhibit, I set up like a little shop, like for example, we're going to sell bamboo right here. That way people can directly buy the bamboo to feed the panda. And it's going to be really expensive to make it even better. So we're going to sell one bamboo for like, I don't know, 250 or something for one. All right. It's not too overpriced that no one will do it, but it's enough that it's actually going to make us a profit. All right, so look at this, look at this. I have created a little tiny walkway that you can walk along after you buy your panda food and then you can feed your panda. I think that's epic. Okay, that looks a lot better. So I just added a little bit of a waterfall down here. That way you actually kind of get the full experience when you're walking over a magical bridge. Shop number three goes up right here by the snowman. And for this one, I'm gonna try to sell all of this random armor I've been collecting. The pickaxes I bought, things that I got that just really, I don't really need anymore. I'm gonna try to make it a little bit more expensive too than normal. Now here's that silk touch pickaxe we got the other day. I'll put 8,000 in, hopefully it's a fair deal. And then finally, we've got this pickaxe, which again, it's a pretty decent pickaxe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it 250,000. I definitely didn't pay that much for it, but hey, maybe we get lucky and snag a deal. Finally, we've got a chest shop here that sells potions of healing that says heal up before you head to the campfire, where players can actually walk over, type slash sit, and legitimately sit on the campfire by the mushrooms and join the view. But guys, before I open up the zoo to the public and start bringing people in, I wanna do a little bit of work with my villagers. If you guys saw last episode, you remember that I got two brand new villagers. I leveled them up and they have new items. What I need is to get a lot of gold ingots. You know what I could do, guys? 
You know what I could do? This is a risky play. This was not on the agenda, but I could go outside, harvest up the golden road and say, hey, we're not ready for a gold road yet. All right, we need the gold because those gold ingots can be sold to that. I mean, this is, this is a ridiculous amount of gold. I mean, look at this. It's not a smart play. That's almost two stacks of gold right there of 64. I don't know what it's worth, but if I traded to him for emeralds, maybe he'll level up again and we'll get some more good stuff. So... Hmm. There we go. 12 emeralds right here. That's pretty juicy. You leveled up and you have... He's up to a journeyman, folks. Uh, he's selling us glowstone now. I guess I could sell the emeralds back. Now he's an expert. We have the expert villager and he's selling ender pearls. Feels good to finally have an expert in here. I'm gonna go mine for 15 minutes in the mine. It's been a long time since I've done it and we'll see what kind of items we can get. All right, guys, we are now up to 12 diamonds, which means I think I can make one more diamond block, I'm pretty sure, which is juicy. I mean, we might as well just bring this bad boy upstairs and prepare it for the eventual beacon upgrade. And I feel like for me, I'm going to go just pure diamonds. It just feels like the right move. So pop it down there, start preparing. We need we need a lot more of these to really get it expanded. Now, guys, let's go get this zoo sold. I'm going to go in chat and type teleport free zoo for fun adventures and games. Let's see if we get any people that click on this and teleport. Here we go. Batch of random players coming in. Here we go. Here we go. They're reading the signs and now they're able to go look. Hopefully they can't kill the animals. Good. They just go straight in and try to kill it. Look at him. Good thing I set it up correctly. This guy's literally just parkouring off in the distance. I mean, I don't know. He's just gone. He's just, he's gone. He just came and he left. This guy is trying to just kill everything. Look at him. He's literally trying so hard to kill my animals. It's actually kind of sad. I'm glad that it's not working, but oh, 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 here we go, guys. Another batch of people. I said free zoo. Here they all come. Look at this. This guy has Isaac skin on. He's an Isaac fan. He doesn't even know he's not going to love it right now because I'm using an alt account, as you guys know, to make this series fair. If you guys want to know the battle top, the most rich player on the server right now is at 759 million. So I think they've actually lost. Awesome. No potions of speed have sold yet, which is okay. It's all right. It's all right. They're just browsing. They're looking around. They're enjoying the view. They might even buy some bamboo food. They did. Someone just bought some bamboo for $250. He went up to feed it. He's on the rail. He's trying to give the bamboo. Oh, and he did. He fed it. If you enjoy, please donate. All right. Put out another teleport for the free zoo. Look at this guy. He's just enjoying the mushroom in there. Isn't that adorable? This guy could be rich. Oh, he has one mil. Yo, when you find the rich people and you see their balance at one mil, you got to suck up to them so hard because those are the people that are going to make the fat donation. Yo, we sold some more bamboo. That's that's a pretty fire. Let's get in here and give him a little food. There you go, buddy. <laughs> and there he goes eating it. The joy we're bringing these people is more important than the money. I'm just kidding. We're going to get rich. This guy wants to become a partner. He doesn't even know who I am. And he wants to become a partner. Charge 100 entry, not too much. Then expand the cages in the zoo itself. This guy's trying to overhaul my zoo. He's like giving me ideas. Become my partner. Charge an entry fee to come in. This dude's crazy. This guy could be it. This guy could be it. 400K. That dude hates my zoo so much. He's killing himself just to get out of here. $100 donation for the nice zoo. You guys saw it there. Okay, we're getting some donations now. We sold a daily chest plate for a thousand dollars. Guys, the money is just slowly sinking in over time. One of the players who I tried to sell it to asked for commission. He said, if he helps me sell it, can he get some money? I said 10%. So now I got to do this guy trying to help me sell my base for as much as possible. Guys, this one has $3 million. I'm trying to suck up to him to see if he'll do what I want. Come on, make a donation, baby. Make a donation. No, no, no. Make a donation. Come back. Make a donation. Donate a sword. Okay, I'll take the sword. Oh, blaze rods. Oh, more blaze rods. Oh, gee, thank you. I am so newbie. $6,000 donation. I'm going to manifest it into a existence. You will buy this cat top. Dang it. All right. We got uh, some glass, glowstone, shovel. Really a lot of stuff that we don't need in the first one. So that's expected. Now here we sold um, probably like 15 worth bamboo. And this hopper we have collected ooh, 60. That's actually pretty, some spider eyes. Actually, I could use some steak. Oh, look at that. Two stacks of blaze rods. Uh, daily sword. People say if you do nice things, good things come back to you. So I'm going to do something nice. Even though I'm not the richest yet, I'm going to give this base away to one of you guys. All you have to do is join my server, play.loverfella.com. You have a random chance of winning this entire zoo. And maybe next episode, good karma is going to come back and we'll make two to three million dollars. Peace.